Why can't Pluto be a planet? Some people like Pluto, and if it doesn't exist, then they don't have a favorite planet, right? Please write back, but not in cursive, because I can't read cursive. Neil deGrasse Tyson, welcome to Spaceverse. A small dark world, once the ninth planet in our solar system, exists 7 billion miles from the sun. Pluto is now considered only a trans-Neptunian object. NASA's New Horizons mission landed on a previously uncharted world not long after the planet was demoted. Everyone was taken aback by the measurement data, and for the first time NASA released accurate photos of Pluto to the public. Welcome space enthusiasts, grab your telescopes, and get ready to embark on an incredible journey as we dive into these awe-inspiring images and unravel the secrets of Pluto like never before. Join us as we decode this cosmic message, uncover its hidden meanings, and take you on a voyage to the very edge of the cosmos. Imagine you and your fellow Pluto pioneers stepping from a spaceship and onto the mysterious dark surface of a distant world for the very first time. Your new, unfamiliar, and chilly environment is cast in deep shadow, and the light appears as a little faint ball. You venture out into the half-light to investigate the peculiar rock's pliability and permeability. This is a peaceful, tranquil world. It's tough to get around because of the low gravity. Due to the gravity being only 0.063% that of Earth, you'll feel like a feather floating through the air. You have a hard time getting where you need to go, so you've had spikes and weights added to your shoes to help you stay planted on the ground. You can only bend down to grab a rock sample if you put in a lot of extra effort. After landing at a new location on the dwarf planet, you re-enter your space capsule to collect more samples. You've planned for this journey for a long time, and you know what to expect from the low gravity and the frozen surface of the planet. Pluto is strange eerily lovely in its own way. It's a sacred moment here on this tiny frigid Earth so distant from the Sun. Due to the surface temperature of negative 351 degrees Fahrenheit, the expedition will end in a matter of hours at most. You snap a few more pictures of the Sun and then head back home. Landing on Pluto for the first time in the semi-darkness of the outer parts of the solar system would be similar to this. The Sun is just a tiny feeble yellow ball far off in the distance, barely casting any light on this celestial planet during the day. Pluto's remote location led scientists to believe for a long time that the planet was uninhabitable and made entirely of ice and rock. And then they got a shock. Among the so-called trans-Neptunian bodies, Pluto is the nearest, at a distance of roughly 40 astronomical units. Since its 1930 discovery Pluto had been the ninth planet, but it was demoted to dwarf planet status in 2006. It is one of many recently discovered planets that orbit our star in the periphery of the solar system, and shares this designation with them. In almost total obscurity many individuals reacted mournfully to the news that Pluto had been demoted from planet status. Even though scientists knew very little about Pluto by 1930, everyone had come to accept that there were nine primary planets. No one had any reason to think that there wouldn't be many additional dwarf planets discovered in the Kuiper Belt until recently. Scientists had to decide whether to include recently discovered objects like Eris and Sedna which are only slightly smaller than Pluto in the category of planets or to draw a line. Compared to Uranus and Neptune, Pluto is more comparable to the trans-Neptunian dwarf planets, hence astronomers chose to demote Pluto from planet rank. Since then it has been referred to by its official designation of TN 134340. From the depths to the surface, Pluto has revealed its uniqueness and intrigue almost ironically soon after being demoted. Even in Hubble Space Telescope photos the dwarf planet Pluto appeared as a fuzzy brown disk with no surface details, because of how challenging it is to observe. NASA dispatched the unmanned New Horizons mission to Pluto because of the impossibility of conducting a thorough exploration of the planet using just telescopes and from a great distance. The probe took a full nine years and eight months to reach its far away destination in the same year it was demoted. New Horizons astonished more than just the scientific community when it arrived at its primary target in 2015. The probe gathered 6 gigabytes of data in a short amount of time, and it took more than a year to send all of that data back to Earth. Planetary scientists are still digging through the data. Up until this point, no human has ever had a good look at Pluto's surface, but now scientists have a window into a vibrant and from all appearances very active world. Images of the planet's surface showed unusual geological activity with its bizarrely diversified structure. 
While New Horizons was unable to reach Pluto's interior, its instruments provided enough data for scientists to form conclusions about the planet's structure for the first time. Based on the model's predictions, Pluto is thought to have a solid core that is around 1,056 miles thick, and is composed of a wide variety of materials. Water ice and rock make up the upper layers. The crust size is likely up to 186 miles thick in some location. Pluto might be hiding liquid water behind its icy crust. Geothermal features and ice volcanism provide evidence for heat processing at Pluto's core. The frozen mantle of Pluto may be partially melted by the core's potential heat output, according to some estimates. It is possible that a highly saline and toxic ocean with lots of dissolved ammonia lies beneath the dwarf planet's surface. Geological processes on Pluto rely less on liquid water and solid rock than they do here on Earth. Nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide are only some of the gases that have crystallized on our planet and are ready to be mobilized. The Tom Borreggio, the heart of a planet. We'll start our tour of Pluto's surface in the Tom Borreggio, the most eye-catching and well-studied region. And officially this large area in Pluto's equatorial zone is also known as the Pluto heart due to its resemblance to a heart. The area which spans about 1,429 miles represents nearly a fourth of the planet's total surface area. There is a bright left side and a darker right side to the heart. The area on the left is known as Sputnik Polynesia or Sputnik Planum. The topographic map reveals an expanse of lowland area covered in a thick coating of nitrogen ice, carbon monoxide, and solid methane. Its diameter is 927 miles. The vivid color of these chemicals causes the plane to reflect up to 90% of incoming light in some areas. The absence of craters is a strong indicator of the region's short age on Earth. About 100 million years ago Pluto probably collided with a huge astronomical body forming Sputnik Polynesia. After the impact materials from the dwarf planet's hot core began to fill the enormous crater. This produced a highly active honeycomb or cell-like structure. After eight years of monitoring with the new James Webb Space Telescope, it is clear that the structures have moved dramatically. That there is still geological action going on may be seen here. High mountain ranges surround the city of Tomboreggio. The Hillary Monies located to the west of Sputnik Polynesia are not the largest mountains in the solar system, but they are nonetheless rather tall at up to around 1.86 kilometers. The towns and monies are the tallest mountains on Pluto rising more than 372 miles above the dwarf planet's ordinary surface level and dominating the southern region of its center. Water ice makes up a remarkably large percentage of these rocks. Pluto's freezing temperatures turn water ice into a solid substance. As a result of Pluto's cryovolcanism, the planet's southern hemisphere features a deep depression encircled by vast stratified ice ridges and boulders. Cryovolcanism is clearly seen in these buildings. It's conceivable that the rocks all around you are old ejecta that have since hardened. The new color photographs have allowed scientists to discover for the first time the chemical makeup of the outbursts, revealing important information about Pluto's core structure. The eastern region of Tomboreggio is more shady and ancient looking. The craters were likely formed by strikes from asteroids or comets and are therefore billions of years old. There are no indicators of ongoing geological activity, as there are in Sputnik Polynesia. Moving further east along the equator, we come upon a series of spots called maculas. Several hundred kilometers of towering mountain ranges cut through the landscape here. The macula's origin is a mystery that scientists are still trying to solve. Their gloomy hue is likely the result of a mix of fallens and impact craters. To alter the optical properties of celestial bodies, High-energy radiation reacts with simple molecules in their atmospheres to create complex organic compounds called fallens. Lowell Regio. We move further north away from the rough maculas world. There in the vast valley of Lowell Regio is Pluto's North Pole. This area is the brightest on Pluto due to the oblique orientation of the planet's rotation axis with respect to its orbital plane. In its orbit Pluto's North Pole is constantly oriented toward the Sun. This is likely the cause of Pluto's atmospheric density tripling during the past 30 years, despite the planet's growing distance from the Sun. Sunlight presumably evaporates nitrogen ice, which subsequently condenses near the pole and enters the atmosphere of the dwarf planet. Shara Pluto's erratic motions aren't without explanation. Charon's moon is responsible for the unusually skewed orbit, which features periodic oscillations around a single point. 
the diameter of Pluto's moon Charon is roughly 753 kilometers. Pluto's diameter is roughly 1,476 miles. On average their orbital separation is 12,172 miles. Both objects in the sky have more in common with a binary system than they do with a planet and a moon. Even though Pluto is in the lead New Horizons discovered them together and is currently conducting extensive research on their cosmic dance. Charon is not only massive for a moon, but it also shares several characteristics with Pluto. The surface, though, is significantly darker. Water ice with methane and nitrogen was seen in New Horizons photos, indicating extraordinary geological activity. Many professionals believe that the Kuiper Belt will still have exciting discoveries to offer in the decades to come. Only a small fraction of this area of our solar system has been explored. What amazing and even unexpected discoveries do you think we may find in the Kuiper Belt in the future? As we wrap up our journey today, a big thank you for joining us at Spaceverse. Your support fuels our cosmic exploration. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep exploring with us. Until our next cosmic encounter, see you.